hello guys so in the previous video we have discussed about the new tax rates then conditions in order to claim the benefit for section 115 BAC and various subsections of section 115 BAC now in this video we are going to talk about whether it is advantageous or disadvantageous to shift to section 115 BAC that is to new tax rate when is it beneficial for the SSE to shift to the section 115 BAC or shift to the new tax rates so for that we need to find out the indifference point indifference point wherein the customer uh, the SSE can shift from the old tax rate to the new tax rate or he can opt for the old tax rate instead of the new tax rate now old tax rates let us identify over here old tax rates new tax rates okay so from 0 to 2.5 lakhs it is nil in both the tax rates 0 to 2.5 lakhs nil okay now from about 2.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs over here it is 5 percent that is 12,500 however if your income is up to 5 lakhs then there is a rebate of full 12,500 that means you are not required to pay any tax if your income is up to 5 lakhs in the old tax regime and in the new tax regime if your income is about 2.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs then you have to pay 5 percent that is you have to pay over here 12,500 maximum now if your income is above 5 lakhs to let me divide over here as per the new tax rates so I am also keeping over here 5 lakhs to 7.5 lakhs that is over here 20% that is 12,500 plus 50,000 that is equals to 62,500 and over here more than 5 lakhs to 7.5 lakhs over here it is 10% so 12,500 plus 25,000 that is equals to 32,500 and then more than 7.5 lakhs to 10 lakhs it's same 20% again so over here 62,500 plus 50,000 which will be 112,500 over here if it is more than 7.5 lakhs to 10 lakhs and the tax rate is 15 percent that is equals to 32,500 sorry it's 37,500 my bad 37,500 and 37,500 that is equals to 75,000 and over here more than 10 lakhs to 12.5 lakhs it is 30 percent so 112,500 plus 75,000 is 187,500 and over here more than 10 lakhs to 12.5 lakhs it is 20 percent so 75,000 plus 50,000 that is 125,000 and more than 12.5 lakhs to 15 lakhs it is again 30 percent so 1 lakh 87 500 plus 75,000 that is equals to 2 lakh 62 500 and over here more than 12.5 lakhs to 15 lakhs it is 25 percent which is equals to 125,000 plus 62,500 that is equals to 187,500 and more than 15 lakhs it's the same 30% over here 
over here will be 2,62,500 plus total income minus 15 lakhs into 30 percent. Over here above 15 lakhs is 30 percent. However, over here it will be 1,87,500 plus total income minus 15 lakhs into 30 percent. Now, if you can clearly see 0 to, uh, up till 2.5 lakhs it is nil in both the tax rates and if your income is from 2.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs then in that case the old tax rate is beneficial as rebate of 87A is provided over here but in the new tax rate rebate of 87A will not be applicable as section 115 BAC says notwithstanding anything contained notwithstanding anything contained in the act anything contained in the act in the act that means 87A will be overridden by section 115 BAC hence over here you will have to pay 12,500 minimum even if your uh, income is over here 5 lakhs. So, if your income is from uh, 2.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs then old rate is beneficial okay and if your income is from 5 lakh to 7.5 lakhs and if you are having deductions or exemptions deductions or exemptions if you are having more than 1,25,000 then old is beneficial. If you are having less than 1,25,000 then new is beneficial. Okay, So, I am going to specify the indifference point of the deduction and exemption in this case wherein you can choose whether to go for old or whether to go for new. So, if your income is from 5 lakh to 7.5 lakhs and you were having deductions or exemptions which is more than 1,25,000 then old is beneficial and from 7 lakh, 7.5 lakhs to 10 lakhs if you are having exemptions or deductions more than 1,87,500 then old or else new and in case if your income is falling uh, 10 lakhs to 12.5 lakhs then in that case the deductions or exemptions if you are having more than 2 lakhs 2 lakhs 8,333 then old or else new and if your income is from 12.5 lakhs to 15 lakhs then in that case if your uh, exemptions or deductions are more than 2,50,000 then old or else new and over here also if it is more than 2,50,000 then then old or else new ok. So, these are the indifference points wherein if your income is more than 1 lakh uh, if your income if your exemptions or deductions if your exemptions or deductions are ranging within the range of 1,25,000 to 2,50,000 deductions are ranging from 1,25,000 to 2,50,000 then in that case you can choose accordingly from these indifference points which I have specified over here. So, if you have liked the series of section 115 BAC that is the new tax rates as per finance bill 2020 which is just proposed as of now then please hit the like button and please if you have any questions please mention in the comment box I will definitely solve it. Thank you.